Hello everyone, this video is on agarose gel electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is the movement of charged particles through an electrolyte subjected to an electric field. The anions move towards the anode depending on the nature of their net charges. As a result of different rate of migration, a complex mixture such as plasma protein can be separated into a number of fractions. The sharpness of separation depends upon the extent of which each fraction is homogeneous in its mobility. Plasma protein under experimental conditions of pH 8.6 exist as anions, thus they all move towards the anode. Reagents used here are the buffer, 1% agarose fixative solution, stain, detainer. Procedure The first step is on preparation of agarose gel slime. Place thoroughly clean glass microscopic slide on a horizontal surface. Using a pipette, layer about 1.5 ml of the modern agarose onto the slide. Apply uniformly over the slide up to the edges on all sides so that the thickness of the gel is uniform over the entire slide. Allow the gel to set over the slide at room temperature. Next is on application of the sample. Cut thin filter paper. Take one strip and moisten it with the test solution. Excess sample is removed by pressing in between the filter paper. If two samples are to be applied on a double size slide, the sample strip should be applied at a distance of 1 cm from each other without any time lapse. Place the strip in the center of the prepared agarose gel slide 1.5 to 2 inches from the edges. Immediately after the application of the sample strip, the slide should be placed on the buffer tank. Resolution of serum protein Switch on the electrophoresis pulp pack 15 minutes before the run. In the electrophoretic tank, put chilled buffer in the compartment to the required level. Place wick of Wattman paper of same weight as the slide in the tank to provide connectivity of the buffer with the gel from both the sides. Then close the chamber and connect the terminals to the power supply. Processing the pattern on the slide. The first step is on fixation of protein in agar gel over the slide. Soak the slide in a fixative. The native protein separated over the gel will be fixed in their area of separation. Remove the slide fixed on their area of separation after 10 to 15 minutes. Next step is on dehydration of the gel. Place the slide in a hot air oven at 70 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes. During dehydration, most of the buffer salt will be removed and the agarose gel is fully dried and fixed to the slide. Too much of overheating is avoided to avoid the peeling off of the gel. Staining. Remove the slide from the oven and cool to room temperature. Then soak the slide in the stain for 15 minutes in order to stain the protein fractions. Destaining. Wash the slide 
by immersing them three times in fresh proportion of 5% acetic acid for 5 minutes each. Now the protein fraction over the slide are clearly visible. Rinse for 5 minutes in water and dry in a hot air oven at 70 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. With the help of a densitometer, the separated fraction of proteins are scanned. In a normal electrophotogram, the proportion of various bands are as follows. Albumin 3.5 to 5.2 gram in concentration. Alpha 1 globulin 0.1 to 0.4 gram. Alpha 2 globulin 0.4 to 0.8 gram, beta globulin 0.5 to 1.2 gram, and gamma globulin 0.7 to 1.5 gram. Coming to the clinical significance, the heterophoresis of serum protein is helpful in detecting the changes in individual protein fractions in serum and in detecting abnormal band in certain disease condition. In chronic infection, the gamma globulins are increased, but the increase is smooth and wide base. In paraproteinemia, a sharp spike is noted. In alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, alpha-1 band is decreased or sometimes missing. Thank you.